All right, you guys, it is officially 7.49 right now. I've already been to one yard sale and the guy didn't even want to give prices until the lady came back from putting up the yard sale sign. So I'm glad it was an in and out. I'm scheduled to arrive at this estate sale five minutes before they open. The, sign, the sale says they're not opening the doors even one minute early. So I'm hoping that I get here and that is the case. But if you guys are new to the channel, by the way, my name is Kayla and I go by the homeschooling picker. I literally pick stuff that's undervalued from places like yard sales, estate sales, and I flip them in my vendor's booths, but mostly on eBay. And so that's what I'm doing today. Passenger seat's empty, no husband, and I'm wearing the GoPro by myself for the first time. You. Yeah. And we are two minutes away from this estate sale, so I will catch up with you guys inside. Hope we can find some awesome stuff. And I really hope that they didn't let anybody in. Please cross your fingers, guys, that the door has not been opened because it's 7.50 right now. So, anyways, catch up with you guys there. Good, how are you doing? Doing well. Good. Sorry, I'm trying not to let this thing fall off of here. Take this nativity scene and that pumpkin right there behind me. Okay. That might fall is out. Is this all you're getting? Yes, because that's if it. it is, okay, I'm gonna wrap it for you. Now that pumpkin, you're gonna have to. Well, these are the actually paper paper mache. So as long as we're just, I can almost just put it in the bag. Okay. But I really sure appreciate that. A bag or a box? Well, whichever one is easiest for y'all. I think the box might. Yeah, be I think the box one. might. That's okay. That's okay. 35, please. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy that. I will. Do you need some help? I do not. Thank you, though. I'm going to grab this. And I'll take my box. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So, of course, the first to say so lied. They opened the doors early. I swear, if you guys see a sign that says, or a cell that says, doors don't open early, you can go ahead and take that to the bank that, uh, them dolls is gonna open early. So anyways, I did not, I got a couple things in there, a cool vintage paper mache nativity scene made in Germany and a cool blow mold. I saw my buddy Caleb, shout out Phoenix Resale. Now I'm trying to find another one that there's no directions on. It was just a sign that said you aren't selling and now there's nothing here. This nativity set is circa 1940 and is made in Western Germany. All the pieces are paper mache, except if you notice the little odd character out in the center, that is actually a vintage Fontanini piece, which does carry its own value of about 20 or so dollars. But it does mean that mine comes without baby Jesus. So I do think I'll be able to still get $100 for my set, but it was unfortunate that it was missing its main character. 
This vintage Union blow mold lasts off for $150 in excellent condition, though mine actually is still new with the original tags. There are two currently listed for $100 and $110, though I feel pretty confident that since mine does have the tags, that I can get $150. But I am not yet sure if I want to let it go. So for the first stop of the day, we spent $35, and I think I can turn that into $270. $100 for the paper mache nativity, $20 for the additional character, and $150 value out of the pumpkin. Now let's go on to the next one. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you doing? You got a cool spot right here. Yeah, I can do it rain or shine. That's awesome. Well, it's pretty compact. I was like, well, I probably should put it out there. More people can do it. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> At least you'll have shade later on. Yeah, that's true. Don't get too hot, too cold. This is the uh, spur of the moment thing. I just decided there's too much stuff. <laughs> that's the best thing about yard sales. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You got lucky there's a big estate sale right around the corner yeah, also. I, I saw that. I was like, yeah, all right. It worked out well. How much is your little drum tab over here? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just took a bite. You're fine. I've never seen one like this before. Hey, it's pretty cool. We got it from our son for Christmas. And back when he wanted to. He was really into music. Uh-huh. Never played it. But honestly, I can't find the chord for it. Oh. It's a regular chord. Oh, so that's foot pedal chord, huh? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I'd sell it for $5. <laughs> for, five honestly, bucks, like, for five bucks, I'll find a chord. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best thing about yard sales. Kids that use stuff a couple times. Mm -hmm. I have two, so I know. Take your ripstick too here. No. All right, I owe you seven bucks. All right, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. knocked over your dog. Okay. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. This was a nice quick little stop. For $7, I picked up that $2 rip stick, which I've already sold in my booth for $18.99. Those retail for $40 at Walmart, so it's super easy to sell them very quickly for almost $20. So the real winner of this yard sale was the Pile Tabletop Drum Set. Now these comps on the screen do come with their original cord. However, it is a standard cord, so I feel like I will still be able to sell mine for around $50 plus shipping. So I should be able to turn that $7 spent into approximately $70 in sales. Now let's head on to the next one. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? We're good. Good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Only time I've used it, well, I used it once on my in-laws coyote hunting, but uh, I used it in my office. <laughs> I worked with the community college system, and one Halloween, 
uh, we decorated an office area uh -huh. and I put on a wolf howl and had it playing. <laughs> That's awesome. They sound just like it. Oh, they do. Yeah, my dad, I think you have the same exact one. Everything here is a dollar. Okay, great. Around the tarp. Great, great, great. Until you get through the deep points and stuff. Oh my. Very good. You wash those or spot cleaners? Probably I would spot cleaners. But, well, I say that the yellow ones, if they said, you know, spot cleaners. Is this your hike to Red River Gorge? It is. My son told me last night that he won the lottery to uh, climb uh, Mount Whitley. Wow, that's awesome. In September. That is awesome. And uh, he had to go into the lottery and had to also put in a variety of dates. Yeah. And then he won the part of the lottery. I think he had a 30% chance of winning. And, uh, and then they selected the date. That's the awesome. Go. So he spent a week down in Alabama mm -hmm. uh, hiking and doing all this. He goes to Red River Gorge a lot to hike and camp. Yeah. It's one of the most beautiful places. He, he's just getting ready. I know. I know. I was like, I don't know about handling well, I think Red River Gorge is probably my favorite place in the whole state. It was he was, uh, to look at. when he was little, Him and I mean, he was probably 13 maybe. Uh -huh. Him and his cousin, we were in it uh, by Denali, and they started hiking. And it looks like they were top of a mountain, but they're only up about 30 feet. But they took pictures way down low, so uh -huh. they're up real high. That's awesome. Vintage yard flags do sell guys, but for the most part, I felt like these were a little bit sun faded. So I did decide to leave these behind, but I did go ahead and snag a couple. One is personal and then the pumpkin one I'll probably sell, even though it was a little bit more sun faded than I realized. I had this for a while with the cans of fishing. <laughs> that was the accessory. Yeah. That was it. That's, funny. That's funny. Well, I found a few things, guys. Okay. Alrighty. So, I think wood. I, I think I got all these from the dollar spot. Yes, you did. Okay. That's five. So fifteen dollars. All right. Well, I think I got four. Mm -hmm. So fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. Well, with taxes, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's about right, huh? <laughs> I'm either give you a 20 or 24, and you can give me a 10, whichever is easiest for you. I can I can reach in here and get you out of 10. All right, perfect. There you go, dear. There you go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So this was a nice little pickup too, guys. This coach purse was a buck, and I think I can flip that into about $50. Now, I am selective about the Clarks I pick up. However, these mules were in excellent condition, and I feel like I can probably get $25 out of those. But the big find of this sale was that Fox Pro, and I have that listed for $95, though I'm pretty sure I can get $90 out of that. And I can probably get another $10 for the vintage Halloween flag. So in total, I spent $13 on flippable items and think I can make $170 off that. So let's go on to the next one. Yeah. You know, and you get that here. And I'm not 
That's my problem. <laughs> and she'll laugh because, I mean, 95% of the time, what she asks for, we have. Yeah. Well, see, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I'd get my feet hung up and I fall. I fall all the time. Those are nice. Well, yeah, I fell over the natural bridge and got. Well, that's well, the worst place to fall. I did. I was mm -hmm. My dog was going through with this stuff. We she carried them with that break down. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I've been wanting some of these. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought, somebody just may want those little hands. Have you seen Me? the girl that does the makeup with them? No, but that's she hilarious. She does the makeup with those little hands. Oh my gosh. She puts them on a stick or something and wears long sleeves and she does her makeup and it's so hilarious. I'm about to use these right now. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do like pallets or something? Yeah, I used to. I'm not doing any more though. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yes. So much work. Well, I found a couple things, guys. Did you just double it? I, <laughs> I was like, did I hear things just now? <laughs> have fun with the hands. Oh man, I'm about to use them right now. I should have opened them and handed you the money with them. Oh, I've been hilarious. <laughs> Are you going to YouTube with them? Oh, I'm going to YouTube with them. You can guarantee it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Our granddaughter thought those were hilarious. I do too, and I'm a grown woman. You know, actually, I think she got the hair out of there, and we had a dog, and he ended up chewing some of the fingers off. It did. Okay. There was more in there at one time, but she got them out. I'm glad I have extra, because I know my daughter's going to be after these immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. You have a great day. Oh, I just saw this steamer. You said this one is new? Yeah, it's new. No, it's all right. I believe you. I'm like not okay. Oh yeah, in the box right there. Well now I just got a 20, is that okay? You can't double it on me though. <laughs> Thank you. So those tiny hands, y'all know those bad boys are priceless. So I paid $6 for this Black & Decker rice steamer and I have it listed for $60. This is the second new in the box I found, though used of these do not really sell guys. And the genealogy kit, I should not have picked it up because it is actually expired. And the NFL hats for a dollar each, um, I feel like I can make 10 to $15 off each one. But for the sake of this estimate, we'll just say 20 bucks. So I spent $12 total at that sale and I think I can turn that into 80.
So these vintage sheets are definitely worth some money here, but I am opening them up to check them out because most sheets and blankets that you find do have stains or rips or holes. Thankfully, the Barney set was, I think, complete and in fantastic condition. So I did go ahead and pick that up along with a Care Bears pillowcase. However, the 101 Dalmatians was not in very good condition, so I did go ahead and leave it behind. When she only charged me a dollar for the whole other stack, I probably should have went back and grabbed the Dalmatian set because I'm sure there was some pieces in there that could still have been sold, but I didn't even think about them again after I already decided to let them go. Obviously, if you find anything, we're into bargains. Okay, great. <laughs> there is a card table. Yeah. So that figurine is a collectible. I don't know if you know that. This one? Uh-huh. Uh, it's probably like $20. For a willow tree? Yeah, they're okay. like $60 new. Excuse me. Yes, people are making tiles. If you want to just put it right here. That's, that's okay? Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll sit here and watch it. You want to make you a pile? You've got a lot of stuff there. Well, these sheets, you wouldn't think those sheets would be hurting my arm if they are. Here, put them right here. How about that? I'll sit here with them. Thank you. Oh, you don't have to sit with them. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> but I do appreciate well, you, it. You'd be amazed at how many people come and see the same thing. They're like, oh, no, no, that's so Yeah. <laughs> Is on your lantern and your grill. Ten dollars each. Okay. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. I just watched you last night. Did like, you? That's hard. I don't know what it is. I heard your voice. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, yeah. That is so cool. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate no, it. No problem. I like it. <laughs> Would you consider 15 for both of those? For the stove and the lamp? Mm -hmm. I'll have to ask him. Okay, you'll be chasing him down. Well, he, he, or he'll be back okay. out. I well, know. I think I'm about ready, so I'll just head in and ask him. Yeah, sure. I'm like melting. <laughs> wow. I'm chasing you down. I was Gary Lee, but will you consider 15 for the lantern and the grill? No, I really okay. can't. That's fine. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, he looked him up. Like, yeah. uh, oh. What did he tell you? He said, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I have these things right here. 
So dollar fifty for all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it anyways. Oh uh, you are yeah, gonna yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah. So you you got change? Oh you can you can just keep the change. Oh thank you so much well, though. I do welcome. appreciate it. You need help to the car? Uh no, I'm just right there. Thank you so much though. So I paid $2 for the sheets and the towel, and I think I can sell these Barney sheets for about $30. It looks like I might be able to pull another $15 out of the Care Bears pillowcase, and I'm going to say $10 for the Pokemon towel because it does have a small hole in it. Unlike the lantern, there are quite a bit of these grills listed, so I went ahead and priced mine even with the lowest price, and it sold in just a few days for $30 plus shipping. The real winner of the day turned out to be this lantern. Funnily enough, I only ran comps on the grill at the sale, so this, I knew it was a good one, but I did not know it was this good. So I pretty much started my day off with a $150 item in the blow mold and finished it off with a $150 item with this lantern. So at the final stop, I spent $22 and I'm going to turn that into $225. So I spent a total of $89 at these five sales, and I think I can turn that into $814. But I did find several good things for there to be so few sales on that Friday morning. So right now I'm about to pick the in man winner, and I'm also getting ready to show you guys. So I tried to do a short the other day, and I did not do it correctly. I didn't realize you had to film it like on your phone or in the vertical form. And so I spent like several hours trying to learn how to do this short for you guys. And then I had to delete it because I did it incorrectly. So I'm just going to put this one minute short at the end of this video of what sold on Wednesday for me. So if you guys would like to watch that, um, stick around for just another minute or so. Um, right now I'm going to turn the um, camera around and we're going to pick the winner for this in a man. If you guys are new here or don't, do not know who Kevin Commonwealth Picker is, you guys should really check out his channel because you're almost guaranteed to learn something and increase your revenue because... Kevin is just a pro and he doesn't miss much. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and we're going to pick the winner for Mr. Man. My little gal up there is sad already at the thought, but here we go. You guys can see I've got filter duplicates. We've already got the YouTube comments loaded, 647. And now we're going to go right here <laughs> to start and pick random winner. Linda Crompton. I would love to chance to win an anime. Man. I hope that spelling is correct. I've been trying to get, get one since Kevin grabbed that other box at the place he had found for him. I feel like you're not an official reseller until you have an anime. Man. Giving your store that push. Thank you so much for the mountains of knowledge. I've learned so much from you, especially kitchenware. I would never have guessed that used pots and pans could bring such good profit. The reseller community on YouTube is truly the best. All right, Linda. All right, Linda. So you can just go ahead and message me your address either on Instagram or you can send me an email to thehomeschoolingpicker at gmail.com and I will get this in man right to you, girl. I am super excited for you. So congratulations on the in man And thank you to everybody else for sticking around this long. My last minute crew, you guys already know. Um, I'm going to go ahead though and play this short so that I do not waste hours of my time. You guys know I'm not tech savvy. I still don't understand how I quite operate this YouTube channel, but somehow I get it done. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys that short and I'll let you all go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. I sold five items on eBay on Wednesday for a total of $458. Now let me show you guys what sold. The first item is actually right behind me in J. But this little Ken doll sold for $9.99 and cost $0.10. Cents. That's all four of the other items that sold are down in my basement. So let's pull those next. All right, next up we sold some shoes. So Men's Solomon paid $4 for these at a yard sale. They sold for $95 plus shipping. Next up we sold a golf club. This Callaway Irons paid a couple bucks for this at a yard sale. Sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next up we're going to have to move over here to the electronics. All right, guys, you need two hands to pull this out, so I'm not even gonna, but I sold this Yamaha Professional Series Amplifier, paid $20 for it at a yard sale, sold for $129.99 plus shipping. I sold these two Cook's Essential for $65 plus shipping, and I paid $4 at a yard sale, and it is a lot of two. There it is, $458 in sales. 